What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to add complete landscaping to your project in Revit Architecture. First thing that you want to do is make sure you're in 3D mode because that's the only way this is going to work. And what you want to do is hide all of your roof material or anything that overhangs your house. So I'm just going to do that first. And then what you're going to want to do is come here to the top view. You always have to make sure you're in your top view. And then you're going to scroll along in this tab bar here and you're going to see massing in sight. You want to click that. And then you're going to see topo surface right here. So you're going to want to click that as well. And now here's just your basic your topo surface menu. So right here we have place point and that's just your tool that you're going to use. And also Here's your elevation, so we're going to adjust this accordingly to whatever elevation we want those points to be at. So first what I'm going to do though is come around my house at 0, 0 and just give my house a nice base of 0 just to make sure that it's even all the way around my house. Even around this deck here. And then now I'm going to put one at around negative one out around here just so we have a slope to make sure water doesn't run into our projects and then actually right here this is gonna be like on a cliff here so I'm actually gonna drop this one way down here just to like 10 feet you'll see the cliff start to form something like that and then now once you have done that you're free to just put points wherever you'd like so we're gonna have to come back here and click place point and now I'm just gonna make this go down even farther here and you can put points wherever you want them so just a gradually sloping place around here and I always plan out where I want this stuff right away before I do it. So I knew I wanted a big cliff right here. And I know at the bottom of this cliff I want a lake. So what I'm going to do is actually draw the surface for that lake right now. Um, I'm going to leave it at negative 50 because the lake should be about the same level. And as you can see if I change this to wireframe here, you'll see that this is all flat land right here. And that is eventually going to be split away to be my lake or waterfront here. And then also what you want to do is just make sure that everything extends far enough for rendering purposes. It helps if you have a much farther view. something like this and then I'll use a section box to cut in back into my house another thing you want to make sure is if you know you're gonna have a driveway right here here's my garage so I know I'm gonna have a driveway this way you just want to make sure that you have your driveway at the level that you would want your driveway to be at so maybe if I don't want my driveway to slope as much I'll just put it at one foot all the way down here and you'll start to see a path where I can put my driveway on. And I'm just going to delete this one five foot point here. And now you can see I have a little path for my driveway. So once I have finished that, I'm going to click the check. And now as you can see, I have one big surface here. So there's still a few steps we got to do. Um, first, we have to cut the dirt and grass out of our house because when we put these points around here, it covered everything. So what you want to do is come up here to split surface or you can use building pad but I always use split surface I just completely get rid of the ground so what you want to do is click split surface and then when split surface is highlighted you have to select the surface that you want to split I now have my surface highlighted when it's blue like this and you have to make sure it's blue before you click and then you can click and then I'll zoom back in on my house here and I'm just going to cut out any place where I do not want any dirt or grass. So I'm just going to use this pick lines tool here. I'm just going to go around the edge of my house. 
in a complete in a complete path. And I'll just connect these few things right here. Once I have it all outlined, I'm going to click the check. And as you can see, it's still highlighted. So all I have to do is click the delete key. And then there's no more grass inside my house. And I can show you that. Because you can see right here, you can see where it is cut out. It's cut away from my house. Now the next thing that I want to do is add a driveway in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my color back on just so we can see. And I'm going to use consistent colors. Now my garage is right here, so I'm going to have my driveway come away like this. I'm going to go back to split surface. And then i got to make sure to select the surface. And now I can just draw my driveway however I want it. So I'm just going to have it come. Um, I'm going to use this curve tool here. Just so it sort of slopes away. And I'm just going to draw out exactly where I want my driveway. I don't need to make it go that far away. And then I'm just going to come back, try and mimic the same path, or at least get close to it. something like that and then I just need to finish off my closed loop here and once I've done that I can click the check mark and now you can see that that is split that surface and I can come over here and change the surface of that from dirt to whatever I'd like so I'm gonna go and find a concrete driveway here I'll just choose this one and then click OK it's going to give me a little warning here, but I'm fine with that, so I'll click OK. And now you can see I have a cement driveway. Now I can also go ahead and just change this to grass, so I'm going to click on the surface, come over here to Material in your Properties box, and then click that three dot square. And all of the site materials are under Site. If I scroll down here, and for some reason I actually do not see the site materials in here but you can always check they should be under site and then it'll say dash dirt or dash water or whatever so I'm just gonna have to duplicate one of these here and I'm just gonna name it site grass and then I'm gonna click appearance replace and then I'm gonna click the appearance folder and under here you will see site work and here's a bunch of different types of grass, all kinds of different grass and site materials. So I'm just going to choose this blue grass right here, double click, it'll bring it into this window here. And then I'm going to click back on graphics, I'm going to use the render appearance, and then I'm just going to click OK and OK. And now you can see I have grass. Now the next thing I want to do is make this down here water like I said I was gonna do so once again I can split the surface and now I'm gonna create a shoreline so I can just make a basic shoreline here but I usually like to use a curve tool or something just to give the shoreline some character and I'm just gonna leave some some space for some sand so I'm just going to use this round tool here. Just give it a little bit of character. Not so it's perfect lake. Just something like this, real basic. Then I'm just going to come around here and close off my loop. I'm going to click the check. And then I'll also come back here to material. And then I'm going to duplicate this as well. And name this one water. 
and then I'm going to come here to appearance, replace, click the appearances folder, and then water is under liquid, and you get a bunch of different types of water here. So I just want to clear lake, and then here you can change the wave height if you want it wavy or whatever, and you can also change the color that you want the water. So I'm just going to make it a pond or lake color. Then I'm going to click and click OK. OK. And now you can see I got water there. So also another thing that I can do is just copy this water here. So I'm just going to click on the surface, click these this copy tool, the bubble one. Click once and then not move it at all. Click again. And I'm just going to change this one to be... I'll just duplicate this and I'm going to change this one to be sand so replace appearances folder site work and then there's sand here and I use the render appearance for this one click apply and then click OK now as you can see we got sand on top and I'm going to come from a side view here I'm just going to offset it just a little bit so it's under the water. And then I'm also going to grab the water here and just move it a tad in. So I'll show you why. Then when you render it, it's overlapping, as you can see right here. And it will look like waves are ro rolling up on the shore. And it just gives it a more real look. Now the next thing I want to do is come here to the water. And actually for renderings, I like to increase the back level here of this water. And I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm going to click on the water and then click Edit Surface. And I'm just going to select these few back points here. I'm just going to change these and make these 30 feet here. Now as you can see, the water is actually rising there. And you'll be able to tell that in the renderings. It'll look like kind of like the earth is curved which it really is so it'll give it a more real look and I'll show you that from here so actually the water is sloping upward it's just a little tip for rendering so now I'm just gonna click the check and now you can see that I have my water there I have my sand underneath and if you have sand underneath it helps the render appearance and now one of the very last things you can do is come in here and click site component and you can choose a bunch of different trees here and there's also more in load family if you scroll down under planting there's a bunch of different trees including tropical and different shrubs and stuff so I'll just load these and then it gives you a bunch of different options for trees and grass and things like that I always do this in 3d to make sure that it goes on the right part of the surface And if I wanted to move this, it can just come like this. Use the arrow keys or grab it. You can also use the space bar to flip these around so they're not all faced the same way. And things like that. And you can also come back here to site component. And choose some trees here and you can just put trees and stuff wherever you want you can put it down here on this hill and then just one last thing let's say I didn't like how my driveway was and I wanted to redo it we're actually going to merge the surfaces back together so you're going to click merge surfaces click on the first surface and then click on the second surface and you will see it merged it back together and now I can try and recut out my driveway if I choose to if this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video.